Uh, I'm Lyndon Tuck and this is Peter Davey and we've been working on a collaborative project. It's a film based around a poem called Storm Song, which I wrote. I've, I'm interested in the folklore because um, the folklore seems to really channel some quality about Dartmoor. It's, it's a place that seems to have a mind of its own and in a way I think that the folklore is an expression of that in you know the culture of its people. There's something beyond all the you know fire and brimstone, hell, demons and whatnot. You know, there, there's it's beyond that. More like the the more archaic stories, like the story of Old Crocken. But um, I, I can recall when we actually went up there location scouting and stuff. I noticed that there was just something different about the place. My interest grew and grew and grew until I I, I left areas just like Shaw Prior and then. Um, uh, it, I was lucky enough at around that time uh, my parents um, dug out a load of old books from the loft and they were all about Dartmoor, about its stories and things. For most of that stuff when you boil it down to is uh, talking about the elements and the elements of the moor is more interested in, you know, uh, and I think really a lot of folklore and myths is that's what it's about. It's about the actual yeah, yeah. basic elements. And it was from these sort of discussions that we got onto um, working with the. Um, what the idea was we work with the landscape inspiring the story. But I was never really keen on the idea of folklore and myths and everything. So I felt it had been so overdone and overplayed, and you know, and one of the things we did is we went out to the moor together and I did some photographs for you on the moor. Mm. Which were pretty um, good photos. In spite of how good the photos were from that, from those first trips, um, we, we ended up doing a film, I think it was because uh, photos, just, just the still images on their own, I, th I think it was because we just didn't think they had the energy. We wanted sound and we wanted movement as well. Well, once we'd uh, decided that we were going to do a film, um, the first thing I did was go out and start filming. Beginning in early spring, um, I made a few trips to various locations around Dartmoor, uh, including Venford Reservoir, um, the Stone Circles at Merivale, Dartmeet, Sharper Tor, uh, Grimm's Pound, Post Bridge, Crockentor, the Warren House Inn, and uh, Cherrybrook. Soon enough, I began editing. I, re I recall a lot of people s saying, um, oh, you've got to edit it and then build some writing around it. But I think I'm more innately really a music video producer, really, because I like to produce stuff to sound, to the structure of sound, really. And so I, c I just found I could not make this without having some sound to work on beforehand. Mm -hmm. While we were talking about these ideas that I... Um, somewhere along the lines we came up with the idea of using like narration and things, you are talking about narration, and, um, and I thought instantly, ah, I could write something, so, um, so I thought, um, uh, it wasn't long before I started thinking, well, when, I, when I've been up on Dartmoor, I kind of, when I see something, I suddenly come out with some, you know, mental description of it. Like I said, I throw out all these random phrases, and the uh, poem developed the as uh, initially as a piece of descriptive writing and then I kind of just took these little descriptive phrases, these metaphors and, and put them down on paper, picked out the ones I liked, the kind of metaphors I liked, you know, reworded them, fiddled around them a bit. The differences I did with the photography for your footage and film was the fact that I did make it a lot more darker. I'm quite actually well known for um, colour because I'm very influenced by like Martin Parr and people like that. So I'm very influenced by saturated colour, which mm -hmm. forms the basis of a lot of my urban work and street work. Mm. Um, so it was quite nice to do something slightly different, really. And um, from my perspective, and my creative career at the moment, I am more and more working towards doing different things within my own creative practice. So this, this, this formed another little project that, that helped with that. For, for this film, I suppose um, I would have given myself more time to edit. I would have, if I could have, I would have written the um, the poem sooner. If I, it, I really would have liked to have tacked on to the fact that I was going to write something about these little 
and the, these little short sentences, these little descript descriptive lines, things. If I'd known that I was writing it around that, around a poem made out of that, then I would have gotten a lot more stuff done, and then I would have also been able to um, to film some more stuff so that the footage went with the words a bit more, because that's one of the problems in there, I think. Um, it does it, it does in places not go with the footage sometimes. Mm -hmm. the I mean, I suppose to, to elaborate a bit more on what I would like to have done a bit more, I would, I would have liked to have done a lot more photographs for you than I, I currently had. But it's a bit hard because uh, well, as, well, as well as working on Tribe, my own creative practice, MA, I'm also working at the moment with another writer called Andy Knight. Well, um, I, I recall um, over the course of, of, of shooting and stuff that, that you were quite busy and so some of them actually getting up to Dartmoor for the earlier stuff with the photos was a bit tricky sometimes and I think that probably led the project to evolve in the way it did. Well, so the thing for me, myself, because I don't normally do like landscapes photography, mm -hmm. I don't normally do wildlife, I'm more of an urban photographer and I do a lot of Ubex and street photography mm. and recently fashion as well. So it was quite nice for me, it was quite rewarding for me to do something a bit different to be honest. I'm happy with how this project has turned out. In the time I've been given, I've made a piece of work that has a good idea driving it and uses strong visual elements. I think I've learned a little more about how to work with artists, how to make a better film, and to give myself more time and listen to my own instincts more. I've gained confidence in my ability to work under pressure and in my own creative capabilities. On the whole, I think this project has been a success, and I hope to continue working with the wonderful landscape of Dartmoor in the future.